Scorpio welcome back welcome back to the channel Scorpio it is always such a blessing to have you guys here now it is going to be your overall read another thing before I get started is that this read will be connected to a prior one a pre-uploaded one that I uploaded yesterday I'm going to be attaching this read and that read into one so stay tuned at the end to watch that one for those of you that might have missed that one because you guys are not getting my uploads and it's not your fault or mine that is on yt's end okay the notifications are not going out all right so for the ones that are new welcome and if you're returning i welcome you back you guys are such a beautiful rare diamond shine bright like a diamond now for the ones that are new we do pray here on the channel we're going to get into a quick pray Tap into your energy and pull in your overall overview read, okay? Whatever comes through, comes through. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and I ask that you bless my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this read. Using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and the right messages that you want me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. All right, honey, so this read is a general one and not a personal one. It may or may not resonate with you. Please take from the reading what does resonate and leave the absolute rest, okay? Because it's a general reading, you can pick up your person's energy, past, present, or future person, even a situation that you may be connected with, past, present, or what's to come. Cross watchers, please do the same, y'all. If you do need to have a personal reading, you can always connect with me using the information that you will find. In the description part of today's video to make an appointment for a personal one all right let's get you an angel here this angel will help me to get through your reading today as well as this angel is for you to keep based on what you're dealing with right now so angel what is your purpose here please and your number placement in line for Scorpio, please what's the message what's your purpose here number placement in line please What's your number placement in line? All right, so we have the angel of encouragement. Wow, I got my work set out for me today, Scorpio. <laughs> this will be the 11th angel, 1-1, one, one. okay? This will be 1-1. One, one. All right, so this is your quick one. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull four messages here. And then I will pull four messages from the Lovers Oracle deck. And then we'll pull four cards also from the tarot. Okay. So let's get that through. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's get the lovers article and I'm going to pull four cards from here as well I hope you guys are having a beautiful blessed morning even noon or night um, it is actually Thursday but you guys may see this on Friday whenever you see it happy whatever and happy birthday to anyone who's celebrating their birthday today or yesterday or tomorrow that's to come all right all right, let's see. Okay. All right, let's get the turret deck here. Please clarify, please. What is the message to clarify for Scorpio at this time? What is the message? What's the energy? Tapping into the energy of the overall at this time. Okay. All right, angels have spoken, Scorpio. All right, so let's get into it. Now, what I'm seeing here, okay, there's a situation that you're dealing with right now, okay? For some of you. I do feel like, if this is not you, believe me, it's someone that is connected to you. Um, But why am I hearing that someone is consumed by a situation that needs to end? 
Now, let me clarify why this is coming through as one that is feeling more like someone is consumed by something. All right, so this debt is here. Your consume card is here, okay? And then you have the debt card here. Someone is ever dealing with something where it is time to end a situation, a cycle, a circle, um, a, a decision that needs to be made here because the situation has already taken its toll. Someone is consumed either by happiness, sadness, or whatever. But whatever it is you're choosing to choose, whatever it is consuming your energy, it is calling for an end. Something is coming in as I, it needs to end something needs to start brand new the rebirth of something brand new fresh somebody needs a fresh start some of you need a fresh start okay um it really feels like someone may be coming towards you with some kind of a um a craziness here that they're either consuming their whole nonsense bringing that nonsense towards you it could be drama and conflicts or whatever but something needs to end. Someone's going to have to make a solid decision. And I feel like that someone is you. Okay. There's a decision that needs to be taken care of here. Because I'm getting a crow. Or someone that needs to grow away from something here. The two lizards. Going back to back at it. <laughs> All right. I'm just saying. Okay. Um, the life cycle right now. As far as what I'm seeing for some of you guys. You want to be able to grow away from what is causing this consumption consuming one's energy on a mental level. I do feel a sense of stillness. You cannot argue with the situation anymore because it's already done what it needed to do. It's consuming you with, with the thoughts of you. Some of you feel like you're going crazy because of this, okay? You see, this is what angels are saying, that I cry at night. I cry at night. I wish I could understand the situation. I wish I could understand you. You're not going to understand that situation. That situation is trying to understand you. And that is why it feels like you've been consumed emotionally by what is going on. Because emotions overwhelm me. This situation is overwhelming a situation that is calling for peace. That is calling for something to end. I can't make a decision. Now, if you're if you're the one who's having a hard time making this decision, you're consumed by not making one. And if whatever you're consumed with does not want to make a decision, they're having a hard time making one because they're having a hard time choosing to walk away from a certain situation, all right? Very hard time. Now, as far as what angels are saying, okay, Scorpio, this is what I'm seeing here. We're getting the page of swords. All right, and I'm not surprised, y'all. I'm absolutely positive, positively. That's the word, absolutely positively, positively, whatever, y'all. Y'all know what I mean, positively, whatever. I'm sure 100% why this page of swords is here, but let's talk about the other three cards. We have the two of pentacles. Am I surprised that came through? No, because someone is, needs to make a decision here. The two of pentacles, I'm sorry, the two of wands in the reverse. And we do have the four of cups, okay? Now, let's get into this page of uh, swords, okay? This page of swords here, okay? Um, <laughs> you're dealing with a lot of tension around you. This page of swords brings in a lot of tension this person wants to talk but then again they want to share now you're going to have to ask yourself what is it that this person is coming towards me with do they want to share do they want to fight this person this is a young energy this person could be a uh, 60 years old and they act like they're 16 okay because that's the energy that they possess they just want to go and have a good damn time all right, it could be a, a, a good time, a karmic good time, or a karmic bad time. Who the hell knows? But that's the energy that they have here. You don't know where their mindset is because they, they're childlike energy, okay? And this is why the two of pentacles is also here. But the two of pentacles did show in the reverse, and I do feel like you know you've definitely been caught up in a in a in a in a in a, in a love affair here. This is what I'm hearing, okay. 
um, and someone is trying to make a decision here because someone is someone needs to but can't okay um, but it has to be done because you cannot that's just say someone is having a hard time balancing two things here okay a very hard time and by having this a child like in a situation that needs to make a choice or a decision when is this decision going to make because a child cannot make a decision okay without guidance and this is where you come in this is the two of wands in the reverse the two of one in the reverse yeah. there's a decision that is tr coming through um or uh, let's just say a choice that is coming through and it has to come through sooner or later because let's just say there's no more time to waste there's no more time to waste here. There's no more taking any more offer here. There's no more um, asking for what What do you think? What are we going to happen? There's no more uh, trying to balance this out because if you're not able to balance it out, how are they going to balance it out when two people is not on the same level of communication here? This is what I'm seeing here. Now, because of this and because of that, okay, Angel did decide to give me this four cups, right? It gave me the four cups, y'all, okay? Now, because the four cups is here, we have the two of wands, and we, then we have the page of swords, and we have the two of pentacles in reverse. Listen, okay? There's a sense of boredom here. Boredom, frustration here, okay? Stress. Someone's very stressed here. Eager to find clarity, but not really getting a sense of direction on where to go to get this clarity. Simply because someone is out there bouncing a ball. All right. Now I feel like this decision that is having a hard time to make. Now is a time when you're not going to wait around and wait for that person to make a decision or a choice. You're going to have to make one for you and for your mental health. Because it's already taken its toll by consuming you with the negative thoughts. It already taken its toll from you not being able to grow the way you should. Okay. Now that you've sought things out mentally, um, it's time that you contain stillness. Don't overthink. Don't overdo. Don't argue anymore with this person about what they need to be doing as far as your situation with them is. Let it go and do what you have to do so that you will be able to grow in harmony. Okay, that is going to be your read. All right. And again, y'all, I'm going to attach this quick read to another one that I did yesterday. And for some of you guys, again, like I said, you might have seen it already. Just stay tuned for that. You might have missed a message there. Um, otherwise, go ahead and leave uh, your initial down below. If you do need me to uh, if you do need me to give out a prayer for you. Go ahead and put your initials there. Put your person, your family member, your children, your mom, your dad, whoever you want to ask for or request, go ahead and do that. The only thing that I ask for you to do, Scorpio, is to pray for me as I will be praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome back to your channel. This reading is all about you, Scorpio. You know you guys are a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. Also, Scorpio, if you are here for your very first time, I welcome you. And if you are returning to my channel, I welcome you guys back. Now, for the ones that are new here, a prayer is a must. So I am going to get into a quick prayer. Tap into your energy and pull some overall messages through, okay? All right, so let's get into that prayer and let's jump right into your reading. Heavenly Father, as I go along my day, I ask that you bless myself and I ask that you bless my seekers. Heavenly Father, please send your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading, using my body as a vessel, giving me the right words and giving me the right messages that you need me to share with the ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is Tuesday, y'all. Happy, happy Tuesday, Scorpio. And for anyone that is having their birthday today or one that's coming tomorrow or one that they already celebrated, happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday, honey. All right, so let's see what's coming through for you guys. Just know that the rules could be reversed. Take it as it resonates with you. It's not a, it's not a personal reading. It's a general one, so it may not resonate at all. Um, cross watchers, please do the same as well. If you do need to have a personal reading, Scorpio, the information that I have provided will be in the description part of this video to make an appointment to have a personal reading done. 
All right, let's see what Angel wants you to know at this time. All right, my darlings. Let's see what angels are saying here. What's the message? What's the message for Scorpio, please? Just had to distort. Let's see what angels are saying. What is the message for Scorpio at this time? What is the message for Scorpio at this time? Okay. Somebody's feeling really broken inside. Somebody's feeling broken here. Very broken inside. Angels are saying that someone is feeling rather broken. Okay? Someone had said goodbye. Someone decided to say goodbye. And so there's this feeling of feeling very, very broken about this situation. Okay? Angels are also saying this. Right? Someone may have some kind of a medical bills that is also unpaid, but someone is going to jail for fraud. Wow. Okay. What's the message here? Somebody is serving black magic. You have a lot going on, Scorpio. You need your spirit guides. Tell me more, angels, and your values. Somebody's working on your values here. Messages for Scorpio. Subject to change? What the hell? Because somebody's confused. That's why. Past life love, but I'm letting your ass go. Oh my goodness. Goodbye. What's going on with y'all? Scorpio, what's happening? Somebody's saying do not enter. Do not enter my energy. Why is this? What does Angel have to say? They say that you need to be glorified. Maybe this is a favor. Who knows? You're now weary. Weep no more. The war is over. Glorify. Look at that. Whew. But this person still feels like they have unfinished business with you. Or maybe you guys really do have something tied up here. You get things done. And they know this. There's things that needs to be fixed. And you're maybe the one that needs to fix these things. Falling in love, but needs reassurance. You didn't get the reassurance you needed. You fell in love with somebody that didn't reassure you that you was the it factor. I am not available. This person is not available, but they're still talking about some kind of a reconciliation here. What does Angel have to say about this? This person is rather controlling. Be kind anyway, all right? So, hope... <laughs> For some of you, you might just have to be kind to this person, even though they're being mean to you, because, honey, your blessing is coming, and they're not. I know there's something better than you. You know. You know something is better than you. Pick up when I call is what they're saying. This person really thinks they have unfinished business to you, but angels are saying this. You were blindsided, okay, by what they did. I want to start fresh. Unfinished business. I believe in what you said. So you, this person learned a lot from you, okay? But they had a hard time telling you what they learned because of their own ego and selfishness. I've had enough. You've had enough of this. And it feel like your relationship was nothing but privacy. Or for some of you, that's what you felt like you needed, privacy. You didn't have any privacy. Maybe this person just was just connected to everybody and everyone or whatever. And you felt like your entire relationship was out in the world. To every, for everyone to see or to have an opinion here. You wasn't even the first variety. Somebody else was. What is this that Angels is trying to tell y'all? Let's see. I'm sorry things didn't work out. This is what your person is saying. Um, they're also saying that they did take a risk. They took a risk. They might have taken a risk with your heart. But now they're avoiding responsibility. Who? Angels are saying. Somebody need to be blocked. Huh. Regret. Reject me and I'm still trying. I still try. So somebody re rejected you and you still try to work things out. This is what I'm seeing here. I just don't know what I want in my life right now. This is what this person is saying. But I'm getting the dead card here. 
So something needs something need to change and or whatever. Someone needs to make a decision here. Somebody's coming towards you for some kind of reconciliation for sure. But this reconciliation is calling for something to end here. Mouth can tell a lie. Eyes cannot. <laughs> on period okay all right so angels are also saying money and work are my main priority you're trying to get your life in order here okay you're trying to get your life in order this is what angels are saying here um and you're trying to be joyful with whatever comes your way okay now angels said that you need to know this that there's a texting that's going on that you might have not known about now this person's feeling ashamed about, about this texting. I'm hearing this person might have been texting other people on the low while you weren't there. And they have got themselves into a jam. Can you please listen? Now they want you to listen about what they did. Okay? Unplanned pregnancy. Hello? I'm trying to impress you. Angels are also saying, you should know this. So I'm going to say, I'm better for you than them. For some of you, you might have connected to somebody else already because you realize that you kind of not knowing where your, your placement is with this person. So you probably done met somebody else or whatever. And now this person is like, could you let that go and just let's do this because we have some unfinished business here. This person maybe feel like y'all have some kind of a connection here. Maybe this is like a soul tie connection here. But into the same with that situation, you need to find that inner peace. Oh my goodness, y'all. Let me tell you something here. Let's go ahead and get some messages from the angels here. And see what angels got to share with y'all, Scorpio, because somebody's on the road here, and I'm not I'm not so sure where this this road is gonna end. This chapter is gonna end. So let's see what's happening here. Mm -hmm. All right, angels, let me have some messages here for Scorpio because somebody needs to have peace of mind here. I'm, I'm hearing somebody needs peace of mind, okay? It's like you already know what's going on. You're kind of, you know, you your, your intuition is already kicking in, Scorpio. You're feeling the vibes. You're feeling that something is either off or unbalanced, but you're still trying to get some clarity on how you're really truly feeling inside. Let's see what angels are saying here, okay? All right, clarify some things here, please, angels. Please clarify, please. All right. All right, so angels are saying that you need to choose a new direction here. It's a no. That direction that you're on with your situation, it's a no. There's a big happy changing that's coming through towards you. Something new, something better. You just want to have to communicate clearly. Clearly is what they're saying here. Perfect timing is what will find you. Perfect timing. Your situation right now, it's a no, my darlings. That's a no. That's a hell to the no. Hell to the no. This is what angels are saying. It's a hell to the no. You're going to have to release some things here. Because there's a direction that you're on. For some of you, you're on a direction right now where that direction is not the direction. Angel said this. You have to choose a new direction. Because you're not going to get anywhere. You won't get anywhere. Okay? The Five of Cups. The Seven of Cups. Options. You have many options. Okay? If you have to stand there and kind of trying to figure out what the hell is going on. And why the situation isn't given the way that it should be given. Then you, honey baby. You're going to have to find a new direction here. Because everything is not coming. Everything is not what it's cracked up to be. You're not getting what you really need. Or what you truly deserve. You're trying to put the work in. You're trying to have things flow. Uh, but you feel like you're struggling. You feel like you're fighting. You feel like you, you're doing more than you should. While other people is out there juggling the situation. And just doing all kinds of things. Being very uncertain. And they having you feeling this way as well. Now you're going to have to make some kind of a choice for yourself. Some kind of a choice. Some kind of a decision here. Because you cannot have fear set you back. Okay. Whatever is coming towards you. You cannot. It cannot have anything to do with fear. Because that's not an option. It ain't, it ain't no damn option. 
manifest, start your work, harvest, do what you got to do, put that work in. This is what angels are saying because you cannot stand there because your life will be in the reverse, your money. For some of you, things is just not going correctly because you're more focused on your person and not your finances. I'm just saying, that's what angels are saying, arguments and conflicts. Distraction here. Somebody's telling a whole lot of lies, and you know, Whew. honey child. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, let's see what's really going on because angels saying you've been dealing with a lot of this. Okay, a lot of this, a lot of uncertainty. A lot of anxiety, a lot of heartache and pain, a lot of betrayal here, a lot of sleepless nights, all right? And having people really tapping into your energy where you're trying to kind of wake up and smell the coffee, but you're having a hard time smelling the coffee. Even when it's, it, it, it's there, it's right there, I'm hearing there's a choice here that you have to make a decision. A new damn direction. New direction. Because new awaits you. Let's see. What's the message? What's the message here, please? All right, so there's no communication coming in at this point because someone is choosing not to do that. But it's only bringing heartache. It's only having you feeling like you're getting from bad to worse here. Situation has to end because a dead card is show up in the reverse. The Ten of Wands. You've been walking around with the entire situation burdening you down, feeling overwhelmed, and everything else while somebody's out there tapping to your energy. Very cold energy. Very cold. Cold as ice here. Right? There's no faith. You're not feeling that there's any faith here. That you could even trust the situation because the star is in the reverse. That's in the reverse. Somebody's definitely being blindsided here. Rather blindsided, okay? Look at that. The four of swords in the reverse. You have thought you listen, like I said, you already know the answers to what it is that you are seeking. You know the answer. Yes, you can. Yes, you can do all things through Christ. You know what? Let me go ahead and pull some message here because I feel like there's something that needs to come through. I feel like I'm not done with this deck. Let's see. All right, let's see what angels are saying here. All right, Angel, what is it that you need me to share? With Scorpio, please. What's the message here for Scorpio, please? What is it that you need to share with Scorpio? All right. Angels are saying that sometimes they confuse you. They're also saying they refused you. They don't like that. Mistake was made by them. Baby mama wants to fight. And they out flirting. Hmm. Pleasure. Independent. So you have to be very independent with your situation because I already see that you're already walking. Look at that. It's flying. I already seen that you're walking around with this ten of wands. You're holding on to a lot of things here. You're trying to stay above the float. You're not trying to sink deep. But this person is forcing you to do so. Angels are saying this. Now I'm aware of all your games. This person has now become a stranger. The feeling, being a stranger, has gotten very intense. You miss a chance with this entire situation. Or they miss a chance with you. Angels are also saying this. This person is trying to stop you.
but payback's a bitch. This person stays in the dark. Knowing when enough is enough. <laughs> oh my goodness. Try to laugh more often, okay? Because they don't want to see you smiling anymore. They want to see you being sad. Find a comfort in yourself, in your peace. Open the door of happiness. This is what angels are saying. They're also saying this. I can't admit how deep my feelings are for you. This is what this person is saying, okay? Because of ego. Someone is remembering something. But you have to leave the past where the past needs to be left. There's a place for us is what this person is saying. But there's no more second chances. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Justice, baby. Okay. There's the, some clarity that you're going to find out here because I'm getting some court case, cases for some of you. Um, something about, I'm feeling, you're going to find out the facts about the entire situation. Here's what I'm hearing, Scorpio, with this justice being here. For some of you, I'm feeling divorce, okay? For some of you, I'm feeling a sense of balance and stability here. But court is going to have to fix this because you're not having an easy task with the entire situation. Based on the clarity that you need, you feel like you're still doing this in versus doing this. So somebody's going to have to take some of this load off of you so that way you could be able to balance yourself out, okay? I say pray because at this point there's no communication coming in here. The two of swords. You want peace, but a decision is not made on their part. Or for some of you, this could be yours, okay? That's going to be your read, Scorpio. I hope it did resonate with you guys. Please, if you do need to have a prayer request, you could always ask for one in the comment section simply by leaving your initials there. Thumbs up the video so others could see it and they will. They also will be able to ask for prayer. Um, pray for me as I'll be praying for you. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you always find. Bye, guys.